Welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to answer in this video question number four from a very old paper, the June 2005, um, the GCE Core Mathematics C2 paper. Um, and this question is on binomial expansion, which is in the um, syllabus of P2, of the new International A-Level P2. So this is within that, that syllabus. So it says, write down the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 plus px to the power of 12, where p is a non-zero <coughs> constant. So here we've got to use binomial expansion. And in order to do that, we can use um, the what's called the NCR method. There's different methods we could use for this. But most people at this stage prefer to use the NCR method, which is perfectly fine. And you have three parts to every um, term. You have the, the main coefficient, which is found by using the NCR button, okay, which is like, basically, you write at the top the power, and then, the, you know, zero, if you want to start from the beginning, and then one, and then the power, and two, that's three terms. The second bracket is for the first term, which is one, okay, in each time going to have a 1 in there and the last bracket is for the next term which is positive px so I write px in the in the last bracket in each of these brackets we're going to write px now we want ascending powers of x so this power has to increase that's going to become 1 2 sorry not 1 it starts from 0 and then 2 and 3 so it starts from 0 always so 0 1 and 2 0 1 2 and this one starts from the opposite power, which is the highest power, which is 12. 12, 11, and 10. The powers must always add up to this number here, 12. Okay, and the number here is always the same as the number on the bottom part of the NCR. So now all we do is we use the NCR button. Well, 12C0 is going to give you 1, and 12C1 is going to give you 12, and 12C2, let, let's find out what that's going to give us. Okay, so 12C2, so we take our calculator and we type 12 and then shift and this button which is just um, on top of the division sign, it says NCR, so you press, the, you press shift and the division sign, that gives you C, so it's NCR and R is in this case uh, going to be 2, so that's going to give me 66, so this is 66. Now 1 to the power of anything is 1, so all of these will be times 1. Okay, 1 to the power of all of these is 1, and then px to the power of 0 is 1, and px to the power of 1 is px, and px all squared is p squared x squared. So this will give you 1, this is 12 px, and this is 66 p squared x squared. So we can say that our expression 1 plus px to the power of 12 the first three terms in ascending powers of x, 1 plus 12 px and plus 66 p squared x squared. So that's the answer to part 1 of this question or part A of this question. Now we're going to do part B. And we're told, given that the expansion of 1, p, 1 plus px to the power of 12, which is what we expanded there, um, in the expansion, the coefficient of x is minus q, and the coefficient of x squared is 11q. So they're saying basically that if we expand the same thing, in terms of q, you're going to get 1 plus, you'll have minus q as the x term. So it will be minus qx. Minus qx will be the x, coefficient of x will be minus q, and the coefficient of x squared is plus 11q. So plus 11qx. That's what they're saying it's going to become. Now, we already expanded this in terms of p, okay, and we found that we got 1 plus 12px and plus 66p squared, x squared, that's supposed to be x squared there, right, 11q x squared. Okay, now, the coefficient of x squared is 11q. Now, what we can do is, we can, they want us to find the value of p and q. So, we can compare these coefficients and get two different equations for p and q. So I, if I compare the x coefficients, I can see I have minus q must be the same as 12p because these are equal to each other. 
this is the same as that because they're both equal to the same thing they must be equal to each other so I can say minus Q must be 12 P and if I compare the X squared coefficients I can see that 11 Q must be the same as 66 P squared so if I um, simplify this a bit I can say that means Q is equal to minus 12 P and if I simplify this I can say Q is equal to if I divide by 11 that's going to be 6 P squared okay so now I can solve these simultaneously I can for example replace the Q with 6 P squared so I can you know just you know just solve these simultaneously I've got two equations I can use substitution so I replace the Q with 6 P squared so I have 6 P squared is equal to minus 12 P okay if I bring these together I can have 6 P squared minus 12 P is equal to 0 I can divide by 6 P squared minus 2p is equal to 0 and I can take out common factor of p so I'm left with two solutions for p p is equal to 0 or p is equal to so this is plus 12p what am I doing okay I add 12p to both sides so I get 6p squared plus 12p p squared plus 2p and I have p times p plus 2 is equal to 0 so p is equal to 0 or p is equal to negative 2 now we're told in the beginning of the question that p is a non-zero constant so we can see that p can't equal zero because of that that statement therefore p is equal to negative two so that's our value of p and to find the value of q you can simply just substitute it into this equation we know that q is equal to six times p squared so q is equal to six times minus two squared which is equal to six times four which is 24. Or we could have, in fact, used this equation. We could have put Q equals minus 12 times minus 2. Okay, that would have been easier. Um, anyway, in any case, we get 24. So we have P equals minus 2, and Q is equal to 24. And there are the two solutions. Uh, that's the value of P and the value of Q, minus 2 and 24, and that's the answer to this question. So it's, um, you know, not too much of a difficult question. Um, and... If you would like to see other questions answered from this paper when I eventually get around to doing them, if requested, you will find them on the playlist that will appear somewhere over here. Uh, questions about binomial expansion from P2 papers you'll find in this playlist. Um, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And other P2 material that you might find interesting will be on the top on the card that's been appearing from the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.